Poor Dr. Oz is having a tough go of things uh, in Pennsylvania. It feels like Fetterman is actually like gaining momentum from where he was and is now going out and starting to do rallies. And um, Dr. Oz needs to show his bona fides that he is a real Pennsylvanian. And as such, he made a trip to Wegmans. <laughs> Here is Dr. Oz meandering the uh, aisles in Wegmans, trying to show that he's just like a regular guy who goes to, to um, Wegmans. Of course, he goes to Wegmans so often that he tri got tripped up on the name. <laughs> How many times have I gone to Key Food and I was like, I'm going down to Lock Food. I'm going to uh, lock, um, Kai F K Foods. K Foods. I thought I did some grocery shopping. I'm at Wegner's and I, my wife wants some vegetables for crudite, right? So here's a broccoli. Pause it for one second. What a regular Joe. I, this is where I'm, I don't know. I have a little bit of uh, Midwestern uh, insecurity. Like, I don't know. Do people say crudite? I mean, of course they do. They say um, like things like uh, canopies and uh, uh, amuse a mouche, a mousse bouche, a mousse bouche, uh, and uh, of course, my, we <laughs> Wegner's. <laughs> like, doesn't anybody like associated with the campaign go like, "Hey, wait a second, Wegner's"? Well, yeah, let's just retake that. <laughs> yeah, you said Wegner's. That's not right. <laughs> I tell you, I am uh, one take. Yeah, one take. That's what they call me. One take. So my wife wants some crudite. Yeah. It's weird. So I've come down to Wagner's to get the crudite. I'm a regular guy. I would say Matt asked me before the show. He's like, "Do you do you use crudite in your conversation?" And I'm like, I'm quite convinced that like seventy percent of the times I have ever said crudite yeah. have been ironic. And now, like as I go over it. I got to say, it's probably closer to 90%. Yeah, and the other times there was something you had to dress up for, yeah, probably. Right. It was, there There have been times where I've been in certain uh, company where it's like, was there food? And I go, well, they had like, you know, a crudite. I may have said that. But then every other time I've said it has been in like some type of like, what are you going to serve? Oh, crudite. What do you mean, what am I going to serve? Food. Food. I feel like I've probably said that to like John Benjamin yeah. probably like probably 35 times in my life where it's like, what did you have for dinner? No, oh, I had crudite. What do you mean? Who cares? A hot dog. What difference does it make? We keep, keep going. Does he keep going yeah. past this? Yeah, we can see him blame it on Brandon. Yeah. I thought I did some grocery shopping. I'm at Wegner's and I, my wife wants some vegetables for crudite, right? So here's a broccoli. That's two bucks, not a ton of broccoli there. There's some asparagus, that's four dollars. Yep. Carrots, that's four more dollars. That's ten dollars of vegetables there. And then. Now, wait a second. Some... Pause it. This is not by, uh, that, that broccoli is not done by weight? Mm. It, I, think it, I think it definitely is. I feel uh, like... Well, let's see. Uh... Let's, yeah. uh, let's see if we can see that label down there, because I have a feeling he doesn't get how broccoli is sold in a supermarket. <laughs> just $2, just grab one. He sees the thing, and it's like, oh, $2 for this? I have a feeling it's probably $2 a pound, bud. And I don't think you got a pound of broccoli in your one hand there with that one <laughs> That broccoli. one floret. <laughs> so used to going to the market and buying food. I can't believe how expensive the broccoli has become. This is just classic. This is honestly like, this is the parody. This is the parody right. you do. Let's send this really rich guy down to the supermarket and see how many different ways he can fuck up and buying stuff. <laughs> like, who is this for? Anybody who goes shopping knows that's not the way. You don't, the broccoli florets it. are not per floret. It is, they're different sizes, you, bing, you ding dong. <laughs> Go ahead. There's some asparagus. That's four dollars. Yep. Carrots. That's four more dollars. That's ten dollars of vegetables there. And then we need some guacamole. That's four dollars more. And 
She loves salsa. Yeah, salsa there. Six dollars? Must be a shortage of salsa. Guys, that's twenty dollars for crudite, and this doesn't include the tequila. I mean, that's outrageous. And we got Joe Biden to thank for this. Salsa <laughs> shortage. I can't. I love the the, the, the slogan for Dr. Oz's thing. You can thank Joe Biden for your crudite. <laughs> what do you do what's the uh was the tequila come in the crudite like you yeah. sprinkle tequila yeah right where, where does that, that mean I, I the idea that like tequila goes with crudite who I, what <laughs> he's just confused because he got the guacamole and the salsa and then he thought tequila he wants to be like a regular guy yeah i don't know regular guys like just grab some buns and deli meat off of it <laughs> <laughs> That is, um, that is hilarious. <laughs> no basket either. He's just going through, yeah. Thanks. Joe Biden also got rid of all the shopping carts yeah. here. I mean, you could very easily imagine that he put all that stuff back and they walked straight out the store again. <laughs> Without a doubt. Are we good on this? <laughs> yeah, look at everything I need right from this one section of the store that you're framed up with. Well, the beauty of Wagner's is that uh, that it, it, it is completely built only for uh, political commercials. That's what they do. You, be, you, you join Wagner's and you can shoot as many political commercials as you want there. That's why all the food is so expensive, because yeah. it's just a set. Oh, man, I want to see Dr. Oz do the self Do we have... Th this is what this reminded me of, was George Herbert Walker Bush famously and was this back in this was in 1990 uh, 1988 right this is when he was running against dukakis i think yeah, yeah. that would be 88 and yeah. and dukakis the thing about michael dukakis was that he shoveled his own walk and he took the tea to work every day and he lived in a very sort of like modest house when he was governor of massachusetts and he would shovel his own walk and so george herbert walker bush they attempted to make him seem like a regular guy too. And like there was one story that I've, I've told many times on the show, his sister as part of this effort gave an interview where she said, we were raised by very, very strict parents. If we left our tennis rackets out in the rain, we got punished at their tennis court that was on their property. Here is George Herbert Walker Bush going to the grocery store and to prove how sort of like regular guy he is, but he hadn't been there in so long that he didn't know about the grocery scanners that scan the, uh, the, the barcodes. Yeah. And so this is like, they, they, they caught him on camera getting all excited about this. Play this. Remember that famous campaign stop where Bush Sr. was discovering, <laughs> if you will, the wonders of the supermarket scanner. He had never seen one before. Oh, uh, yeah, there's Chris Matthews covering that. Oh, there you go. Just oh, as, those were the days. Yeah, so it's funny. Like, there's a lot of uh, sort of fact checky. Um, um, sort of school marmish articles about how actually he was at a national grocers convention and while he did say certain features of the scanner were amazing he wasn't as you know baffled as everyone suggests but i mean it's still funny to see a guy like that like be like wow look at this Whoa, look at this whole thing amazing <laughs> no wait a second the milkman doesn't show up at the house anymore <laughs> well that's weird you can you can you can crudite with this. <laughs> I do like the New York Times headline though, which was Bush encounters the supermarket, comma amazed. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. I have 